Hello again. About 10 years ago, a science fiction film called Snowpiercer was released. It was based on a comic, or what I suppose I should more properly call these days a graphic novel. And it showed the Earth in the grip of an ice age which covered the entire planet. An armoured train with a very strongly hierarchical society circled the Earth endlessly. The lower class people lived in uh, separate accommodation, separate carriages, and they were fed on protein bars. And in one famous scene, the origin of their food is revealed to be cockroaches, which are ground up used as food. Yuck! This gave birth to the expression, you will eat bugs, and became a minor conspiracy theory. The idea is that environmentalists are part of a plan masterminded by some sinister elite, which will stop the farming of cattle and sheep, and instead arrange that the animal protein in our diet comes from ground-up insects. This ties in, of course, with the net zero business. You might have observed that uh, Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London, is determined that we should eat less farmed meat these days. So whether or not he's going to um, be expecting us to eat bugs, I don't know. It's often summed up in the conspiracy theory as you will eat bugs, own nothing and be happy. A snack now on the market from a company called Saved brings this vision to life. In the description to this video, I give a link to an advertisement for these yummy cheese puffs, and they may be seen in the thumbnail to this video as well. They are fortified with ground up crickets. The insects are dried, ground into a powder, and then used like flour. Foodstuffs like this are predicted to be the thing of the future, and so perhaps those who use the catchphrase, you will eat bugs, are not so very far wide of the mark. All this is, however, nothing new. Before we start rebelling against the disgusting idea of eating insects, we might stop for a moment and think about the way in which we are already doing so. I'll warrant that if I asked viewers about e-numbers, and specifically what E904 is, they would scratch their heads in bewilderment. Let me tell you, the story of a type of lice which lives in India. The females secrete a sticky substance which they use to glue their eggs together. This is waterproof and oily and it makes things look shiny if smeared over them. Things like sweets for instance. So in India this substance is scraped off trees along with the lice often and then mixed up into a slimy gunk. When it's painted on the outside of sweets and other food, it gives them a nice glossy look. Keep an eye out for E904 in the ingredients on your next packet of sweets, and you'll know that you're eating the bodily secretions of Indian lice. Of course, I'm sure that we all know about cochineal, which has been around for many years. This may be found as E120 in the ingredients of sweets, cakes and so on. Anything pink or red in the foodstuffs line has probably got cochineal in it. It's made simply by crushing up lots of little beetles and then filtering the juice, which is used as a dye in foodstuffs and confectionery. I suppose that the point I'm making here is that we are already, and have been for many years, eating bugs. I can easily imagine that flour produced from insects will in the near future be added as a supplement to foods and after a while we'll hardly think about it. It's altogether possible that we will eat bugs before too long. 